والصلاه والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين My name is Nadia Johnson from ArabicForWomen.com and this is um, uh, some follow-up homework for the level one class. So um, if you're watching this video, now you've memorized all of the huruf, all of the huruf, all of the letters from alif to ya. Yeah. And now we want to just take some time to kind of put some of the huruf into groups to um, focus on how they're coming out. Or what we call makhraj, and the makhraj is where does the letter come out? Because we know our um, our mouth has different parts, which we which we discussed in level one uh, in the first unit, and now we want to talk about uh, in particular the light letters and the heavy letters. We have some letters which are pronounced very lightly, very lightly, uh, just using the tip of the tongue. Or just using the front of the tongue and some letters which are pronounced very heavily where we go to the, to the back or the middle of the tongue um, and we um, we make the letters sound come out more heavily uh, so those letters are uh, first of all on the light side we have that 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 so I'm just using the front of or the front of my tongue that, that, and you see my mouth is like a, uh, almost like a smile, that. Uh, the other one, next one is uh, that, that, just the tip of the tongue for that and blowing out some air, that, that, seen, seen, seen. Seen. Del, 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 and not del, 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 with a ah. del. Kef, kef, kef. So these letters are very light, and um, the the mouth, as I said, is somewhat like a smile. Now on the heavy side, now on the heavy side we are going to use, uh, so if this is your lisan, if this is your tongue, this would be the tip and then this would be the middle. So we're going to bring up, bring it up from the middle uh, and change the te to to, to, to. So I'm still using uh, the front of my tongue behind my uh, teeth right at the gum line but I'm also raising that tongue from the middle and my mouth is changed to like an almost like an oval although don't depend on the shape of the mouth for the letter to come out don't depend on that even though the shape will change but the sound is coming from you moving your tongue to now if you were to switch back and forth that 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 next one zo zo so we went from fa which is very light fa to zo Still lifting the tongue from the middle, but now some air is escaping. Zo, zo, fe, zo. Also, we could put in this group uh, vel, like del, vel. We could put vel as well. Vel, zo. Khair. Um, next one is sod. Sod, sod, lifting the tongue from the middle. Sod, sod. Again, your mouth, the shape of your mouth will change, but don't depend on that. You gotta manipulate your tongue. Sod, it sounds, I'm lifting my tongue, it sounds kind of like a whistle. Sod, so if I 
Let's switch back and forth. Scene, scene, and just scene, sword, sword. Khair, next one will be dod, dod. Dod is a little special because we're lifting the tongue from the middle, but we're also taking it slightly to one side. Dod. Lord, it's very heavy. Lord. Now if you go back and forth from the light to the heavy. Del. Lord. Del. Lord. So with the del again, just the front of the tongue. Del. Lord. Next one is off. Now for off. It's a heavy sound. Um, the place at the back of your lisan, the back of your tongue, it almost feels like your throat, but it's the back of your tongue. It's the place where you swallow, we go, we swallow. That's where cough is. So that back part of your tongue is going to rise up off, off, off. You see the shape of my mouth? Off. So if we go back and forth from the light to the heavy, um, or the tarqiq to the tafhim, kef, off, kef, off. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Last one on the heavy side. I'm sorry, we have two more on the heavy side. Kho, like jim he, kho. You see when we said jim, he, ho. You see how our mouth changed. Ho, ho. The last one is ra. Now ra can go either way. So um, when we uh, put a vowel on it, when we put a kesra, a kesra under the ra, then we get ri, ri, tarqiq, ri, lightly. Ri, 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 with a kesra, ri. But when we put uh, fatha, ra, ra. Now we gotta use more. See here we were only using again the front of the tongue, ri, 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 ri. But here the the tafhim, we're using so much more of the tongue, ra, from the middle, and it's rising up, curling up. Ra is not from the lips. Like in English, we say rabbit, running, a race, <laughs> right? So it's the the R R R R R R is from our lips. It's a lip letter in English, but not in Lugha Til Arabiya. In Lugha Arabiya, the Ra is from your tongue curling up. Ra. So when we have a fatha, we say Ra, Ra, like Ar Rahman. Ar-Rahim, ra. It's heavy. Using more of the tongue, and the same thing with ru. When we say um, ra with a dhamma, ru, heavy, ru. So on this side, ri, ri, kesra, ri, 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 ri. But here, ra, ru. <laughs> Very heavy, mashallah, tabarakallah. So I hope this helps. Um, let's see. I'll probably do a follow-up video with just some words to practice with each harf. Bismillah. Jazakumullah khairan. See you in class. Assalamu alaikum.